Hey, hey, welcome. This is Yu Zhang, and let's talk about social media aversion. <laughs> I think that a lot of our therapists and facilitators are like this or can resonate with this, this、um, kind of aversion that we have about social media. Like, we're not familiar with it, or we feel uncomfortable with it, we feel lost with it, we feel overwhelmed, we feel unclear about what to do on social, social media, and so we just don't want to get on it, even though we know that you know, social media can be a powerful place,、um, a, a leverage that we can really use for our own business and to also spread the message about our therapy, right? So, I have also clients who tell me this thing as well, who say, you know, I am so overwhelmed with social media, I really don't want to be on it,、uh, but I know that it is important for my business, so what do I need to do, right? So I'm here to help you out because I know this is not a、uh, Uncommon thing, it's actually very common to experience these things as an art therapist and facilitator. So, I'm here to help you out. So,、um, I also have experienced this as well. I have had phases in my business where I was like, I really don't want to even look at my social media and don't want to be on there. And you know, I've experienced this a few times. and From those experiences, I've learned a few things, and now I have really have a clear idea why that happens. And、um, whenever I have those moments, I know how to manage it, how to deal with it, how to get through because I've learned something from those experiences. So, what did I learn about social media? What is it about? Social media that we really don't like, and how can we get through this? <laughs> If you feel like social media really drains you,、um, this is really important to listen. Okay, so there are two big reasons why we have social media aversion, and these reasons are going to point us to how we can get through it. So, the number one reason is that we are on social media and we're just consuming too much. We are consuming. We are getting on there from a consumer mode, right?、Um, and when we are consuming, meaning like when we are looking at other people's accounts,、uh, instead of really using the social media app or platform as a place to express our business, express our thoughts and feelings,、um, and You know, just show something, right? To share something. Instead of using it as that, we're kind of, when we're in consuming mode, we're more in like, what are other people doing? We're looking at other accounts. We are trying to、um, kind of compare ourselves a lot. That's kind of like an inevitable、uh, thing that follows when we do look at other people's accounts.、Um, and Yeah, we get into this comparison trap and we feel inadequate, we feel unready, we feel imperfect, we feel messy, we feel、um, just not worthy, really, sometimes、uh, not enough to show up on social media. So we're consuming too much, we're, which really just Automatically leads us to comparing ourselves. And that's the second thing that I want to mention. The second, or actually, this is the biggest reason. <laughs> the biggest reason underneath social media aversion is we're comparing ourselves. And we are, what that really means is we're actually pressuring ourselves, right? We have, we have created this pressure, right? It's the same thing as when we sit down and Make art when we paint, when we sculpt a sculpture, when we create an、uh, image. As an artist, as a creator ourselves, we, we know that when we have pressure, when we put pressure on ourselves about, some, about this thing that we're gonna create, this artwork, we are gonna feel like, you know, averse. We're gonna not want to create. When we put pressure on ourselves, About, oh, we need to do this, we have to do this, we should be like this.、Um, we need to make a perfect image, we need to create this perfect thing, masterpiece. 
right? Um, when we, anybody who has that kind of pressure will naturally, as human beings, we're naturally going to be averse to doing that thing because we feel like we cannot measure up to that high standard, right? And it's the same thing with social media. Like if we have high standards because we look at other people's stuff and we think, oh my gosh, that you know their account is so beautiful, their account is so aesthetic, their account is so useful, valuable, uh, so popular, whatever, so professional, whatever it is so perfect <laughs> um when we look at that we compare ourselves and we feel like we don't measure up to it and at the same time we feel like we need to be like that and that's the thing that's the trap right there that's the poison it's like you don't need to be like that right you don't need to pressure yourself to be perfect, to be a master at this, to be professional all the time, to be so on top of it, <laughs> to be so like, I don't know, perfect, right? Like just um, got it together. This person who got, who has everything together, like you don't need to be those things actually, but we just subconsciously um, pressure ourselves to have those kinds of standards, right? Just because we think that other people are like that or just because we think that our business can't survive if we are not so experienced so perfect so masterful and whatever right professional um so the thing here how to get through this social media version how to really not make social media drain you is really let go of the pressure let go of the pressure and let out a sigh of relief <laughs> just knowing that you don't need to do those things you don't need to have this perfectionistic ideal and standard like your social media doesn't have to be perfect for your business to thrive like nobody pretty much nobody has a so perfect social media account and perfect marketing perfect content all the time nobody has that um, that's and if to think that somebody has a perfect account is a very big mistake like that's a <laughs> it's a huge misunderstanding because nobody's perfect um, and you your your social media account doesn't have to be perfect for your business to be successful and for you to um, really impact your people and audience and bring in clients right the only thing that you really need to bring in clients through social media is connection that's all uh, think about your client that's what you will need to think about think about what it is that you want them to hear think about what it is that you want to share as well as kind of connected the those two ideas but you know Building that connection with someone is all about you first expressing your feelings and thoughts through it, your authentic feelings and thoughts, right? And so let go of the pressure to perform and the pressure to be someone else other than just you, right? And just sink in and sit with that knowingness that you don't need to be anybody else you can just be you and show up and that's enough and that is enough that is what people are looking for they're just looking for a genuine connection with another human being <laughs> what a relief that is right so i hope that this was helpful for you if you feel like social media drains you just know that there is a reason why it drains you it shouldn't drain you it should fill you up right it should make you feel grateful to have this space to share who you are and what you feel and think uh, it's so nice right that we can express what we want to express it's like a canvas social media is a canvas and we can express what we want and there is no wrong way to do it and we are the most um knowing person people to to uh, embody that right we are the most knowledgeable person uh 
yeah in terms of knowing that there is no wrong way to do this the canvas is open for any type of expression and it's the same way with our social media it's a space where we can express whatever we love to express and there is no wrong way to do it so i hope that this was helpful i'll talk to you in the next episode or video where i share more tips that will help you with your online rtp business see you there